Nice the Uruguay and curls one in. Oh, Middlesbrough take the lead! What is up guys, Matthew here and welcome to another video here on the channel where today I'm going to be giving you guys my predictions for the Championship Playoff semi-finals and final, which of course are going to be contested between Luton Town, Borough, Coventry and Sunderland, of course the two of the latter got in on the final day with Luton and Borough having been in the playoffs quite comfortably for a number of weeks. But it's interesting because Luton and Borough we spoke for weeks prior, were in their own little mini league, you know, even slightly with a chance of catching Sheffield United, this is weeks back, obviously it looks a bit silly now, but both sides in their own little mini league, streets ahead of any of the playoff chasers, and then you've got Coventry and Sunderland, who are the two sides who have gotten in at the last minute, you know, momentum is everything, they say, in the playoffs, now I agree with that to a certain extent, but I don't think it's the be-all and end-all. So as much as you look at the uh, Sunderland's form, which is blistering, they've done unbelievably well to make the playoffs, as hard as it is for me to say as a Borough fan, and Coventry, what a job Mark Robbins has done to get them into fifth. They're still going up against two very good sides, two sides who, for the most part, have been in a different league to Coventry and Sunderland, and for, for weeks it's been said that it should be a Luton-Borough playoff final because of just how to, how strong the two sides have been. So it depends on how much you want to read into the last couple of weeks or how much you want to read into the entirety of the season. Recency bias is a thing that often clouds people's judgment, but I think looking at it across the season, we've got two very intriguing playoff ties here. So starting off with the first playoff tie, which of course pits... Luton up against Sunderland at the Stadium of Light on Saturday. Now, it's a really interesting dynamic between these two sides because they're both very good away from home. Sunderland, fantastic team away from home. They've got more points, I think nine points more away from home than they have at home. Um, Luton's away form, I think, is probably one of the best, if not the best in the league. So, you know, you've got two sides who are very good away from home, but they're going to probably two of the most difficult grounds in the whole league being the Stadium of Light, which 40 plus thousand strong sold out in a playoff semi-final would be a nightmare to go to as an away side. But then Kenilworth Road is also a completely different prospect. It's equally as in, uh, intimidating, but it's more smaller and tighter and the fans are on top of you and it's a very, again, intimidating place to go in a different sort of way. So it really does come down to how will Sunderland fare at Kenilworth Road and how will Luton fare at the Stadium of Light? So, I think it's going to be probably the more intriguing of the two playoff ties, if I'm honest. But, for the first leg, I have backed Luton to get a result. Now, again, Sunderland are on fire. They're in great form. And Luton will go there very wary of that. But Sunderland's home form is not as good um, as their away form. And as we saw, even... In the penultimate game, you know, they were getting beat 2-0. They had to drag it back. That last-minute Patrick Roberts goal looks ginormous now in the context of things. But Sunderland, as good as they are at home, they can concede at home. And as we know, Luton, very, very good away from home. So, I think there'll be goals in this. I think it'll be a tight game. But I think Luton, Rob Edwards, I think they'll do a professional, solid job. They'll keep it very tight at the back, which is why I don't think Sunderland will, will, will score that many. They might get one. But I think Luton will just have a professional performance here. They'll just get the job done, hook or by crook. It might not be perfect. It might not be their best, but I think they'll get the job done and they will go to Sunderland and come away with a narrow one-goal advantage. As for the other semi-final first leg, Borough go to Coventry. Same again. Obviously, any away leg is going to be tough in uh, the playoffs. Borough have to go to the CBS Arena. Um, it's going to be Coventry's first time in the playoffs, first time with a chance to get to the Premier League in a long time. They're going to be absolutely up for this because both sides have just played each other in the league, which I don't think we should read too much into because, if I'm brutally honest, it was a game where Borough didn't need to really give it their all, didn't have to get it in the top gear. Coventry did. So, you know, 
Borough, I think, will definitely step up their performance levels in this game. They will turn up with hopefully a stronger 11 than what we've had with injuries. And it will be a tougher test for Coventry. But it will equally be a tougher test for Borough. Um, and that's why I've gone with a score draw. I've gone with 2-2 at the CBS Arena. Um, Borough, not as good away from home. Barely keep a clean sheet away from home. Hence why I think Coventry will score two here. But I do think as well with Borough's attacking threat, we also are more than capable of getting plenty of goals ourselves. I think this will be a fantastic game. Open, end-to-end, -end, a great spectacle. But I do think Borough will find the the forward magic which we do because our attacking you know our attacking force is incredible and i think we will you know go for blow blow for blow with coventry and we'll come away with a draw as for the second leg back at kenilworth road now like i said sunderland very good away side luton will go into this with something to defend so for me i don't think luton will go absolutely all guns blazing here but I don't think they'll shut up shop either. I think this could be another really, really entertaining game. And I'm stuck between two scorelines here. But I do think Luton will hold Sunderland to a draw. Now, I, I did put 2-2. Two, two, but I'm not too sure that there'll be that many goals. Now, Sunderland, as I say, great team away from home. Score plenty of goals. Great counter-attack inside. But will Luton allow the game to be that open? I'm not sure. That's why I may be leaning towards 1-1. One, one. Um, but I do feel like Kenilworth Road, the atmosphere will be electric. They'll probably not allow Luton to sit back and just defend the lead they have. So I think Luton will equally go at Sunderland. It could be a great game. I'm going to stick with my initial prediction, I think, due to the amazing atmosphere there. Kenilworth Road, the fans will be right up for it. I think Luton will go into it. And they'll draw regardless. Um, I think Sunderland will, will take it all the way. It'll be a very tight game. But I think Luton will hold them off for a draw. I'm going to say 2-2, which means I've got Luton to get into the plough final on aggregate by three goals to two. Into the other semi-final then, back at the Riverside a week on Wednesday for Borough at home to Coventry again. Um, a repeat of what we've just had on the final day. Of course, I've gone into this with a draw, a 2-2 draw potentially, but I think we'll go into the second leg with a draw. And I've got Borough to turn it up in this plough semi-final second leg because at home we've seen throughout the season... When we're at home, when we're up for it, when we're 100% and firing, there's no team in the league that can live with us. No team at all. Um, only Burnley really have come to the Riverside and stifled us, I would say, at home. We've blew Norwich away, we've blew Re uh, Preston away, we've blew Reading away, we've scored so many goals at home this season. And I feel like under the lights at the Riverside... Um, knowing what we need to do, I feel like Borough will get the job done. I have got Coventry to get a goal, though. I do feel like they will, you know, they've got a huge playoff final to fight for. I do think they'll get a goal. Borough's clean sheet record's not great, but our attacking force at home is amazing. And I've got us to win this second leg 3-1. Um, I think it's going to be one of them where it's 2-1 to Borough. Coventry are pushing late on and Borough maybe catch them at the end when they're throwing everything at us and we get a third and we go into the plough final by five goals to three on aggregate, which does set up a rather predictable, but, you know, I guess it wouldn't be a surprising playoff final between Borough and Luton. I think it's safe to say anything that's not Borough-Luton would be a surprise and a bit of a shock. These are the two teams who I think deserve to get to the playoff final. Um, it's easy to say that because the third and fourth, but you know, you look at where they both were, you look at the runs they went on um, up until the final sort of five games, and I think we're the Bulls and Luton are allowed to take our foot off a little bit towards the end of the season because we've got that luxury of really preparing for the playoffs. So I think you know, on paper, across the season, the way both teams play, both very different, but both very good at what they do. I think Borough Luton deserve to get there, and I think will. Um, it won't be easy, but I think they will. Um, and it's a case of who wins the playoff final between Borough and Luton. Now, I don't know about Luton. I believe they've not got a great record at Wembley either. But Borough's record there is appalling. So one of us has got to get the job done. But I think, and this is not just because I'm wearing a Borough shirt and I'm a Borough fan. But I think Wembley, big, wide pitch, lots of space. I think it suits Borough more than Luton if I'm honest. Um, I think Luton prefer 
um, the game to be a bit tighter, the game to be a bit more conservative. Um, they're obviously a very strong defensive side, but I think on a big wide pitch like Wembley, I think it will give Borough the luxury to create the spaces, open up Luton's defence, use the width of the pitch to get in behind. Of course, we like to utilise Jones, Giles, and I think that could maybe provide the difference. Um, but Borough will have to be at their attacking best here um, because Luton are an unbelievable side at the back and it would take a lot to break them down. So it depends on if Borough play their best. Now, if Borough play their best, they win the playoff final. In my opinion, they win the playoffs if we play to our best. If we don't, there's every chance Luton will get a result here and we'll get promoted to the Premier League. It's a case of will the occasion suit them, will it suit us? Maybe they've got players who are less experienced on a stage like this that might lean into the, their favour in terms of the fact that never, you know, they might be fearless, but there's also a chance that they might sort of, I don't know, get a bit shocked you know rabbit in the headlights kind of thing but uh, maybe with a few more players who've played at a slightly higher level Carrick with the experience that he's had playing under some big managers big occasions Borough might just have the edge in terms of the occasion and I feel like the pitch also might just help the way Borough play so if we you know play our attacking best I think we beat Luton narrowly um, I said this when we played them a few weeks back that was our second string side at Kenilworth Road and I think we outplayed them for large parts and were undone by an awful refereeing decision so I'm confident that if Borough turn up do what they can play at their best with a better squad on a pitch like Wembley I think we edge it and I'm going to say Borough 2 Luton 1 in the playoff final but honestly with the trajectory that especially Luton are on I think whichever one of us doesn't go up this season will be huge favourites to go up next season and will go up next season. I think Luton's trajectory is phenomenal. They're just like Coventry, uphill trajectory. They're only going one way, and that's Premier League, in my eyes. So, you know, if it wasn't Borough, I'd be rooting for Luton uh, because of their story. But I'm going to back Borough to do it. And it's not just because I'm a Borough fan. I know people think I'm biased, but I generally do feel like there are reasons... As I've mentioned, but I do feel like if not this year, Luton will be their top two next year. And I think they'll they'll hopefully join us in the Premier League uh, the season after. And you never know, so might Sunderland and or Coventry. But that's my predictions for the playoffs. Maybe a bit predictable, but you just have to look at it across the whole season and not let the recency bias cloud judgment. I think, yes, form, momentum, it's a big thing. But if you come up against Luton at their best, Borough at their best they make the final for me so we'll see if that is the case but nevertheless I'm an absolute nervous wreck for the playoffs and I can't wait to see how they unravel but a big thank you for watching my playoff prediction video let me know what yours are in the comments section below whether you're a Borough fan a Luton fan a Sunderland fan a Coventry fan a fan of any club what you think is going to happen uh, in the playoff final who's going to get there who's going to get to the Premier League Fingers crossed it's Borough, but we'll see what happens um, as the playoffs will be underway in a few days' time. I cannot wait. So, a big thank you for watching, guys. Smash the like button. Subscribe for more. I'll try and bring a lot more football-related content to the channel throughout the summer when there's no football on. Uh, do leave me a comment, as I say. Hit the bell so you never miss an upload. Big thank you for watching. Take care. I'll see you guys next time. Up the Borough.